Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Lightyear, the new Buzz Lightyear movie, uh, well, in the Toy Story franchise. Uh, let's just get straight into it. So Lightyear is directed by Angus McLean, screenplay by Jason Headley and Angus McLean, story by Angus McLean, Matthew Aldridge and Jason Headley, produced by Galen Suzman. Um, cinematography from Jimmy Latsky on camera and Ian McGibbon and lighting. It is edited by Anthony J. Greenberg and music by Michael Giacchino. Giacchino. Production companies is Walt Disney Pictures, Pixar Animation Studios, and distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. Uh, released no, no, uh, New Zealand it released 15th of June 2022, and the US it released 17th of June 2022. It ran for 105 minutes, so around an hour and 45 minutes. The rating of this movie in New Zealand, it's a PG for violence, in the US it's a PG for action slash pearl. Uh, the plot, a science fiction action and the definitive origin story of Buzz Lightyear, the hero who inspired the toy Lightyear, follows the legendary space ranger after he marooned, marooned on a hostile planet 4.2 million light years from Earth alongside his commander and their crew. As Buzz tries uh, to find a way back home through space and time, he joins, he's joined by a group of ambiguous uh, recruits and charming robot champion Cat Socks. Uh, complicating matters and threatening the mission is the arrival of Zerg, an imposing presence with an army of ruthless robots and a mysterious agenda. The voice cast, we have Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear, Kiki Palmer as Izzy Hawthorne, Peter, uh, Peter Sowen as Sox, uh, James Rowland as Emperor Zerg, and Taika Waititi as Mo Morrison. Production development on Lightyear started after finishing work on Finding Dory. After co-directing Dory with Andrew Stanton, Angus McLean was allowed to pitch the idea of making a Buzz Lightyear film. Having always, uh, sorry, having always wondered what movie Andy Davis saw in the original Toy Story to get interested in Buzz Lightyear. Uh, and a Buzz Lightyear action figure. McLean, also a science fiction fan, had felt attracted to the character of Buzz since he started working at Pixar, feeling that the film uh, was very personal for him, uh, whose favourite movie since childhood has been Star Wars from 1977, an aspect present in the Toy Story films that Lightyear explores in Buzz Lightyear, uh, uh, sorry, Buzz's uh, dis disagreement of the nature of reality, which coupled with the heroic ideals made in a glimmer of science fiction cliches that McLean intended to make more than just a punchline. Thoughts uh, On the good, I really enjoyed my time with Lightyear. I think I had a blast. I do think that Chris Evans brought his own Buzz Lightyear to the screen and he kills it in the role of Buzz Lightyear. I think that most of the cast did really well. As well as a standout for me of this movie, which was Socks the Cat. I think this character was great, and I didn't have really interest in this character by the trailers, with Socks being not for me, but seeing Socks in the movie, uh, the cat was great. The direction in this movie from Angus McLean was so good in this movie. I think the visuals in this movie were so beautiful and gorgeous, and I love them. And the animation in this movie looks so good as well. The bad and disappointing. Okay, for me, there were some problems in this movie, like the pacing for me was a bit off in some points of the movie. Unfortunately, I think that some of the plot for me was a bit off in some points of the movie as well. And unfortunately, there, were just, uh, there was just one scene which I thought could have been a bit better, and that it was basically, uh, sorry, and that was basically it for the bad and slash disappointing. Final thoughts. I think Lightyear was a great movie. Now, I wouldn't say it's amazing for me, because there were some problems in this movie. But it was a still fun movie and entertaining movie as well. I will be checking this movie out again, and yes, Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear was really good in this role. And the same with the rest of the cast. Love to see Taika and Waititi in this movie, and yeah, it was just a fun movie, and definitely for kids. They will love this movie. Now, for me, it was a great and entertaining movie and a fun movie. Uh, and yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a great time. Uh, my score for stars, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Percentage, I'm giving it an 80%. Grade, I'm giving it a B-. And out of 10, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. 
Thank you for watching my review for Lightyear. Hope you all enjoyed it. The videos will be out on my screen. Uh, my icon will be right there. Click on it to subscribe. Down below will be my podcast. I have a new episode out right now. Uh, and yeah, just like, share, comment on what your thoughts of Lightyear. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a massive help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.